Hey guys, what's up? This is Kelly with Priority Farm Journal, and I somehow accidentally took a like one month spring break. It's it gets kind of crazy as soon as spring hits here in North Idaho. We have to hit the ground running with our homestead to like get things going, to get stuff planted, and there's like all kinds of babies being born. We had some adorable calves born and I'll put the link in the description box below for a video for our homestead channel where the calves are being born if you're not squeamish and you like stuff like that it's pretty cool and they're adorable um, so all that to say it's been super busy and somehow a month or so maybe a few weeks of filming just got away from me so I'm back to film um, my I got my May subscription box and I'm super excited because this month I'm not just getting the accessories I'm getting the monthly planner and the journal so I actually didn't open it this time normally I can't wait but let's open it now Okay, so with all subscription boxes, you get this little note card that says it's here, your monthly subscription kit. And so, here we go. Okay, here's the washi tapes. You have, I love this. Okay, so normally I'm not big on florals. It has to be like just the right colors and just the right flowers for me to really like it, but these, hit the mark with everything so you first have this one um which is a pitcher the yellow pitcher same as this so you have the yellow pitcher it's kind of a pinkish salmon with white rose and then a matching background so that's what you have here for the washi tape now the one good thing about opening it ahead of time as you can get all this junk off so you don't have to sit here and watch me open it but I'll probably just cut that stuff out but let me take this off so that you can actually get a better view of it and I'm going to open it a little bit so you can kind of see the color of the background so it's that pinkish salmon color I really like that so I'm stoked about that one then you have your yellow accent color to go with it perfect for spring and if you've gotten the last few subscription boxes you'll have a beautiful green and blue to go with it all right spring colors this one I don't really need to go into too much it's pretty cut and dry and then this one is her beautiful roses in the February box on the tippins uh, there was some tippins that said love and had this as the background so you'll recognize it from that and from other things, but now it is on a washi. Okay, so there you go. It's not too close for you to see the details, but it's beautiful. I love those choices of washi. So that is awesome. Okay, now the tip ends. Okay, so you have two of the pitcher. Two of this vase with, I think they're hydrangeas. I like that color of blue. You have two of the hellos and the, the tulips in there. What kind of tulips? More roses, I guess, side view of them. 
but they're pretty. I like the watercolor style of them. You have strawberries, so cute. You have these. No, these are still roses. Um, but they were in the stickers last month. So now you have the tippins for them. And then this Hello Spring. I like these little sprigs of berries in there to add the pop of color. So that is super cute. I'm stoked with all those so far. Here's the stickers. You get four sheets, two of this and two of this. So you have your pitcher, your roses, this matches the Hello Spring, so you can have a lot matching the tippins here, and then some more flowers. This one has these cute little, like teal lovebirds, and then more of the different flowers and your roses here. I love those. Okay, so first it looks like it's going to be the journal. No, I lied. It's the monthly book on top, okay. So here is your monthly plan book and I just love these colors. Okay, so you have your picture that matches the tippins and the washi tape and the salmon kind of color background and your regular setup that you usually have in there. Here's the back. I love these roses. I love the colors that were used this time. So I'm super stoked with that. And now here is the journal. The journal, it says, I mean, you can probably read it, but May, we have been waiting for you the most colorful month of all. And it has your roses that match with this washi and it, it continues through the back where they're a little bit larger and I love this and for me what I'm planning on using the journal for because I have a lot of different journaling stuff going on um, because I have another planner perfect traveler's notebook that I use as a Jesus journal but I will I'll do a video on that at some point so what I plan on using this particular journal for is I'm going to use it as a nature journal. So I'll try and get in there daily, but I, I can't really commit to that with still homeschooling and all the projects we have around here. But I'd like to regularly get into this as a nature journal. So that'll go in there with my monthly plan book and I'm actually going to put it in here now. Even though I'm not done with April, which I didn't have the monthly plan book subscription with the journal for April, so I just picked out my own and I love this lamb. It's so cute and hopefully we'll have lambs on the homestead soon. And I really love the back of this, so I've been really stoked with it um, and I'm, I'm making my own tabs. I have one of those tab punches. Um, so I've been doing that just to separate each week. So I'm just going to slip in my journal right now before I forget so I can start using it right away as a nature journal. And then what I'll just do on this first page, I'll just write nature journal and then um, I'll put the starting date and then whatever date I finish it on. I'll just put the ending date there and I'd like to continue doing that throughout the year. So that's the plan for that. So now I wanted to set up my month with you guys. There's so many options for this and it's going to be hard to pick. I probably should have picked that ahead of time, but here we go. All right. So I'm probably going to end up overusing this washi because I love it so much, but that's fine. I can do what I want. Um, so, all right, first I'm going to throw down some yellow 
and the space. Okay, so I think I'm gonna leave it like that. I'm really happy with the colors. I love the little birds and just those soft, somewhat muted tones, but still bright. It's hard to explain. Okay, so for this, I have been using my monthly spread that's in the plan book for like just planning certain health things or tracking certain health things whether it's fasting or different things like that that I want to make a habit of so I don't I have all of my monthly plans in my 12 month planner so I don't just transfer all that over here because that's kind of double work and I just look here when I want to see what's going on and possibly carry it over to the weekly spread so the only thing I'll add is like major holidays. Um, so I will add that in. We have Mother's Day coming up on the 9th. And that's all I'm going to add in for now and then as I choose to do different things health wise I'll put it in here to kind of get an overview and then here's where my goals are I haven't honestly utilized these pages as well as I could there's a lot of things I can set goals for I will probably put in some homeschool goals, especially as we're coming up, I guess technically towards the end of the year, but we kind of school year round. So I do, I do have some goals I can put in for that. I do have some health goals I'd like to put in. I just haven't found the perfect setup for this, but I would like to do that soon. But it would be nice to get it pretty, so I might do that with you guys. And then we'll do some weekly setups in another video. I don't want to make this too long. I just wanted to show you what you got, what it kind of looks like in use. 
these washi tapes, what they look like on the paper. And then just some ideas for your monthly spread. So yeah, I am super excited with getting the full subscription box this time and I'm really glad I chose to do that. So there it is, May Monthly Planner and your um, May Journal. Now, just remember it's all preference. Your May Monthly Planner is actually gonna start with April 26th. So if you have the previous planner, it goes to your April planner is going to go to May 2nd and your May planner is going to start at April 26th. So you really have a lot of options there. You can either, if you're excited, just jump right into using this one. I kind of prefer to start when the month starts and keep it simple and not confuse myself. but. This month happens to start on a Saturday. So in that case, I really would only use for the first week spread two pages. So I'm gonna have to decide if I wanna do that. But I kind of might because I'm really loving my April planner. So I'll probably just stick to that, but I just wanted to let you know you have that option. There's some people that as soon as the first day that's in here, which would be April 26th, they jump straight into this. So it's really preference and whatever you want to do. But yeah, that is the subscription box and I highly recommend it. And I'm just really happy with, as always, with the quality Planner Perfect journals, <clears throat> their covers, the paper, the stickers, the washi. It's always super high quality and that's what drew me to their products in the first place so there it is thanks for joining me and we'll see you next time on the farm